Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. For a while now, I've been wanting to build a deck on Walter's roof. This is nothing new. If you are at all part of Pinterest or into van life stuff, you'll know that a lot of school buses put decks on their roofs and it looks so dang nice. When I first bought Walter, I had all these ideas of being able to like hang out up there and you know like stargaze or just sunbathe or sit on the roof and look at the views. That is not the case because if you get on top of a van roof, you'll know that the metal will buckle under your weight. And um, I've tried it a few times. <laughs> yeah, so a couple months ago, I got a bee in my bonnet and was like, I'm gonna build a rooftop deck for Walter uh, today. And it did not happen that day because I ran into some technical difficulties with the shipping of gutter clamps. The ones that I was looking at were particularly hard to find. Not hard to find, just very hard to get with Miss Rona around. I cannot tell you the struggle I went through with ordering gutter clamps and them getting canceled and then ordering them again and then them getting canceled and then ordering them again and getting them canceled. So I finally got them uh, this week and it's been like two months in the making now. So I'm very excited to jump into this project. Uh, it's, I'm, hmm, I'm hoping it's gonna be relatively simple, but we all know that that is rarely ever the case with projects. In theory, it should be simple. It should be attach gutter clamps to the sides of the van and then attach aluminum bars across the gutter clamps and then attach wood planking to the aluminum bars that are attached to the gutter clamps. The end, end of story, good to go. I can see myself running into some problems, but we will come to those as we come to them and get over them as we get over them. Here we go, guys. Okay, so I cut the holes down to size because they have to be, I think, almost exactly the right length across my van so that they don't cover up the part that I need to tighten down for the gutter clamps. Uh, I can't quite figure out what order this has to happen in. So what I think I need to do now is I need to drill holes through the bars, get a bolt like this, one that's long enough so that I can clamp it down around the bar. Let me give you a little bit better of a look. So this is what I'm dealing with right here. So I've got my gutter clamp here, my bar here. There's holes here that essentially I'm gonna just drill holes up here, probably two on each side, and then take those bolts and go right through so that it's lock down up here and on the bottom and holds it into place. So I've got my bolts, I have some washers, I'm gonna put a washer through, put it on the top. There, it's attached. 
Uh, definitely bought screws that were too long, but whatever. And you didn't break. That's good. Okay, I took a lunch break. I'm eating M&M's. <laughs> what I got? Metal poles on my car now. Let's see if I can zoom in. Nope, I can't do it. I'll just walk closer. Metal poles. <laughs> For my wooden, wooden poles to go across. I'm very excited. It seems like it's coming together. I also don't have them fully clamped down and spaced out right yet. I'm gonna go bring my boards outside so that I can start. I'm jumping ahead of myself. I should totally space these better and get them like down right. Okay, let's do that first. Fine. Okay. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how tall my tripod gets? I never thought I would need a tripod this tall. Here we are. Okay, time to go get the wood and see how it looks up there. Okay, so I look, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> don't know what I was trying to say there, but so I want, there's like an additional board that I want, but these are getting in the way of this laying flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just tracing where they are with pencil. And then I'm going to just kind of cut notches out so that the board can just lay flat right on top of those. And I'll do the same thing on the other side board because that also is lying slightly up because of those bolts that I've got in there, so. Okay, I'm on the home stretch. I got a whole bunch of carriage bolts. Uh, I decided to do that instead of trying to countersink regular bolts. I don't wanna drill into the wood any more than I have to because the more spaces that I drill into it, the more it's open and rain can get in. So uh, I think carriage bolts will be quite good if I can make it work. It's the last thing I have to do. And then I have a deck on the roof of my van. I'm putting a piece of wood underneath so that I don't accidentally drill into my van. But basically, <laughs> hi. Um, basically I'm going to drill a hole with this drill bit through both this and the metal bar underneath. And then I'm gonna stick a carriage bolt through, and then I'm going to use a wrench to tighten a nut and a washer up so that this is nice and secure. And again, I used a carriage bolt because I don't want a bunch of things sticking up out of the, the wood, so. Okay, so I actually decided I did not like the size of the other bolts that I bought, so I ran to the hardware store and grabbed shorter ones because I think these ones will be exactly the right size, hopefully. See that? Instead of having a long tail, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm 
gonna go do the other side and then I'll do the two in the middle. And this part is by far the easiest and I'm actually having a ton of fun doing it. <laughs> So... Oh. 